Hi everyone, with Kelvin here. So let's discuss about weekly contest winner risk five. Um, fourth question, palindrome partitioning third. So given string S and uh, integer K. So S is a string and K is how many substring we should divide the string into. And all of the substring need to be transformed into palindrome. And we need to return the minimum number of character chains. Uh, so all the string become a palindrome. So take a look on the first example here. So the string is ABC and K equals two means we need to split this string into two substring. And um, we can split it into one of the ways split into AB and the other one split into C. So AB is not a palindrome. So we need at least one character change here to make AB a palindrome. So, and C is already a palindrome. So in total, the cost is one. So second example here, um, we can split into A, A, B, B, and C um, because we have K equals 3. So all of them become palindrome. And under a third example, um, lead code with K equals 8. So we can split each of the letter into um, one independent string. And every string will be palindrome. So in that case, we return a 0. So this question is clearly a dynamic programming question. So uh, the sub problem will be um, any of the substring S uh, with certain given number K, um, what will be the output? And we basically need to, to look through every um, substring of S with certain uh, number of K, and then we try to solve the problem. We know that when the K is equals to one, and we have a sub uh, string called ABC. Basically, we need to check um, how many character inside is not palindrome. So let's say ABC and K equals one. So A will be checked with C, and if it's not the same, then any one of the character need to be changed. So we know how to solve the K equals one, and then we use that um, as the base case, and the rest we need to iterate through every substring with uh, every combination of the K. So let's take a look on the code. So the code itself um, is pretty simple. So when k equals one, as I said, um, we look through the entire um, string, right? The it, this is a recursion function. So the given string in the function, um, we split it by two for each of the character. We check the that character uh, character i from the start and character i from the end. If it's not the same, that means. Uh, a character change needed. I mark it as a C++ there. And that will be returned uh, in case of K equals one. And the rest of the case is um, we need to check uh, on every K. Um, so we are given K that is more than one. So we need to decide uh, to split it into two parts. Um, um, how many K should go into the first part and how many K should go into the second part of the substring. And then um, we need also to look through entire substring. Um, yeah, um, the first part of the substring and second part of the substring, right? For the left part and the right part. And basically, um, for those every combination we have, um, we add up the left and right, and we check it with our current um, minimum um, changes for every combination. So yeah, here we will need a k times um, length um, as the complexity here. And then once we finish all the loop here, then we go to the, um, the output before we return it, we catch it down. Um, the reason is because this substring with certain given k will also be um, reused again. So I store it in a hash map with a string that is uh, the substring itself um, plus a comma k. Um, you can create a class, but since in Java, I need to implement uh, all the equals method and other stuff. So I decided just to merge it into a string. And then here, if we already calculated it before, we return the previous calculation instead of going through all of the iteration again. So yeah, that's it for this question. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you on the next weekly contest.